I've been wanting to try this for ages. <laughs> So this is the Stella Raccoon 95 centimeter flail mower. It's been 28 years in the making. Let's go bash and brash. Tested by Machinery Nation. So first of all, let's run through the specs and see why this is one of the most feature rich ride on flail mowers on the market. So as I said, this machine has been 28 years in the making. Mr. Alfonso Stella has designed a lot of the ride on flails and brush mowers that are currently on the market, but he has made his own bigger and better. So first of all, you've got an 810cc Briggs & Stratton Vanguard engine, which is producing 56 Newton meters of raw torque and is a 26 horsepower V-twin engine. Now, the reason he puts this big engine on the back of this machine is so that the lifetime of the machine is a lot higher. There's no stress on this machine, even in the toughest of conditions. So this particular machine is actually fitted with a five inch Donaldson air filter. Most competitors are only running on the four inch. This does mean that in dustier conditions, the machine is gonna have a better lifetime and life cycle. And also the air filtration is that much higher. You've got the outer air filter and you've got an inner. So the Raccoon comes in two different cutting deck sizes, a 95 centimeter and 110 centimeter. The wider then allows for longer, taller grass to be discharged even cleaner and faster. And it means you can cut long grass at high speeds. So you can either lock the cutting deck into position or you can have it in float. Now having it in float means if you're on nice smooth areas and you want it to actually ride with the ground, it will give you a nice even finish. But in lock position, if you're on rough ground, the deck will obviously jump up and down. So then having it in lock position will make sure the deck stays solid and firm all the way through the cutting procedure. And one thing I've noticed already is how much foot room I've got. Even for a long legged person or even a big chap like myself, you can sit on it and you can feel really comfortable. You can spread your legs out. You've got nice support here on the front. You've got your hydrostatic pedals, which also means when you've got the pedals, you can got one hand on the steering wheel. You can hold on to the grab bar on the sides. When you're mowing on on the slope you're going to feel really comfortable not only that you've got the lumbar support on the side here on the backrest and the seat itself is actually suspension ride so if you're going on rough ground and you're going to be using the machine for a long time you're not going to feel like having loads of fatigue at the end of the day really nice clean and clear controls which means you can keep one hand on the steering wheel while engaging and disengaging your cutting deck increasing the throttle starting the engine and holding onto the grab handles so you feel safe. The sturdy 42.5 mil tubular steel frame is reinforced with an additional tubular steel frame at the rear on the hydro axle. So the rear axle is also supported by a flange bearing. This allows for higher strength and no stress on the gearbox. It also means you can fit twin wheels to this machine. Fitted with 17 litre fuel tank and it has enough reserves for a long working day. So we've got a high quality hydraulic tank, which is sufficiently dimensioned so that the hydraulic oil can expand at high temperatures. Fitted with huge tires on the rear and on the front of the machine, giving increased safety and performance on steep slopes. So the front axle is designed specifically to allow high travel movement. This allows it to drive in rough terrain and also means it doesn't need the differential lock all the time. So the wheels are always in contact with the ground. For safety, the Raccoon has chains at the front and a sturdy rubber apron at the back of the cutting deck. The chains are at the front are very durable even after long use. And as this is the municipal version, you get the flashing LED beacon, you get the high back and comfier seat which is fully adjustable, you get the LED lights and you get the high strength Stella hammer blades. So just remember to be in the chance to win a Machinery Nation Oregon collaboration t-shirt. <laughs> Drop us a comment below, subscribe to the video, and we'll let you know in the community tab if you're a winner. So that's enough of me waffling on, let's go and have some fun. I've been wanting to try this for ages, so let's give it a go.
is a fantastic bit of kit. This overgrowth hadn't been cut for years upon years and it just went through it like butter. There's an area up over the top which we cleared over the top of the bridge. I mean, to be honest with you, the stuff we were cutting through was several inches thick and you even saw me take out that tree. Amazing bit of kit. So we've got this nice wide open area. It's steeper up there. I don't know if you can see it in the video. But we're gonna push this thing to the limit. We've got docks, brash and all sorts. So let's get to it. Myself wondering oh, what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. So to think how tall the weed and brash was here and it's left this sort of finish, really, really positive, really good clean cut from this machine. Now one thing I did benefit from was having this nice suspension seat and it's really comfortable because you can put your legs out, you feel safe. I was up on that steep ground there turning around and I didn't feel like I was gonna come off the seat at all. You've got this nice hugging sort of sides on the seat as well. There's no armrests. Obviously the trouble is one of those, you know, you're gonna bail out the side when it's on steep ground. If you were on the edge, you've got a safety aspect. Where with this, you just feel safe. You feel like you're sat in the seat. It's almost like a proper racing seat. And the other thing you'll probably see I've done halfway through the video is to give a really nice clean finish at the end. I dropped the deck down, but I had it in a floating position and the beauty with having a floating position is when you're on more grassy weedy areas it will ride with the area of your cutting and that will allow the machine to give you a better finish it also has a lock position on the cutting heights as well so you've got five cutting heights on the float you've got four on the lock if you're going through real brash something where the deck will be lifting up all the time and you want to lock it in to actually give you that straight cut all the time then you put it in the lock position so there's loads of features and benefits with this raccoon that others don't have on the market now on about fine finishes that is one thing this machine is meant to do and even on grass it's meant to give you a really really clean cut so flip the garden and put it on some finer grass so before we cut some lawn grass i just wanted to show you the two different blade types fitted to the raccoon stellar ride on mowers on the municipal version which we got in front of us we've got hammer type flails they'll give a really nice clean finish with an 80 percent mulch and on the non-municipal versions you've got basically basically Y flails. Now Y flails will give you a 100% mulch finish and give you a slightly uncleaner cut, but they are swing tip. So basically it will act just like a normal flail blade. As you can see with these blades as well, they are stamped with Stella's name. So they are made and forged by Stella. So they aren't any of your cheap flails that you find on the market that you can pick off the internet. These are heavy duty forged blades. So I put it on the lower setting. Let's try some lawn grass. Wow, 
one awesome finish. Now I've cut about 10 to 12 inches worth of thick, lush, green Devon grass, and it has given a fantastic mulch finish. It isn't designed to do this by any means. It's a ride-on flail mower. It's a brush mower with hammer blades. It's not even a rotary mower, and it's giving a finish like this. So it makes it such a versatile product. If you've got long grass areas which you want to get down to a nice finish, or you've got the brush areas like council workers on the edge of the road, estate or landowners, it is a perfect machine for you. It covers all bases and gives you a crisp finish. So one word, wow. What a great bit of kit. I let my colleague have a go earlier and he was speechless. It is a, an awesome bit of kit. It goes through anything. It's powerful, it's strong, it's well engineered. You can tell it's had 28 years of engineering and it is a proper bit of kit for long grass, short grass, brush, and anything you put in its path. And I urge you, if you're in the market for a flail mower or even a ride-on brush cutter, this is definitely worth a test drive. Find a local stellar dealer in the UK or Europe, book on, get a demo at your site, and you'll be amazed at what it can do. We're Machinery Nation. We bring you videos every Tuesday and Friday about new tools and machinery. We hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next one.